Listen, what you just said, they kiss the stone, but they worship Allah, right? That's what you said. Can you kiss the cross and say, I'm worshiping Allah? Listen to what I said. Can you, no. Why? Because it, it has no connection to Allah. What gives the stone the connection to Allah? It's the meaning of where it is, the Mecca. My friend, I do, what should I call you? Great. Uh, anything. No, no. Abdul, Abdul. Abdul, okay. No, Abdul, listen. I just asked you the question. You said they kissed the stone for Allah, right? Yes. Because it represents Allah. I said, okay, well, can you kiss the cross and uh, say, you know, you're worshiping Allah? You said, no. It has no connection to God. So you're saying that there's a connection to God from that stone? You run away from me. You know why? Okay. Because, because the Mecca is the house of Allah. The stone is in the Mecca. Right, right. Okay. So by kissing the stone, you are connecting with Allah. It's where we pray towards. I know, I know. It's like direct connection to Allah. It's not like I don't know anything about Islam. Yeah. I know a lot about Islam. Why is it? The stone, we Can know I it has answer a that? If you let me answer it. Okay, please. Just be patient. Now listen, you're saying that the stone, that stone was there from before. The Kaaba was a house of 360 idols. The top idol was called Hubal. He was the god of the moon. The moon god was called Hubal. Okay? So your tradition of kissing that rock is not from God. It's from the pagans. You know what pagan means? Do you know the word pagan? What does pagan mean? Do you know what the word pagan is? Pagan is the ones who are idol worshippers. Do you understand? They worship the stars, they worship idols. These are called pagans. Okay? So the pagans used to kiss that stone. That's why they were surprised when Muhammad kissed it. Because, I, because what's his uh, companion? He said, I would not kiss that stone if I didn't see the Prophet kiss it, right? <laughs> but he was surprised because this stone is there from before. Just like the crescent moon. You know Hilal? You know Hilal? Hilal. This is from before Islam. Hilal was the god of Arabia from pre-Islamic. I can show you everything. If you yeah. want to see no, it, I can I, show you. I know you. what you're saying. But Hilal but you know was the Islam? god of the moon, which was the god of, My friend. of Quraysh. You know Quraysh? Yes, Quraysh. He's the god of the lord of Quraysh. And I will show you from Islamic but sources. against what we believe. I want you to understand one I thing. I understand what Islam you're saying. Islam is about intention. You don't have to... Look, I know most of the stuff that you're talking about. I know it already. You talk, let me say one thing. I'm telling you, my intention, if I was to go to the Mecca and I was to kiss the stone, my intention is not to be a pagan, not to worship any stones. My intention is to connect with my Rasul and to connect with Allah. I totally understand that and okay. I agree with you. Okay? Don't worry about that. Listen to me. It's not about what you I know you are confused with why the Rasul kissed the stone. Listen to me. I'm not talking about your belief or what you're doing. What you're doing, you're doing it from your heart. You, in your mind, think this is the right faith. This is the right thing, and that's fine. So I'm not disputing that. So don't try to defend that. I'm not def uh, talking about that. What I am talking about is about Islam, okay? In Islam, because Prophet did certain things. Now, when I mentioned Quraysh, why I mentioned it is because Prophet came from Quraysh, okay? That means that his parents were in charge of the Kaaba because his Quraysh was in charge stone, of the Kaaba. His parents were stone worshippers. I know that. His parents were worshipping Hubal, who was the Lord of Kaaba when, before Islam. So when they were worshipping Hubal, they were worshipping the crescent moon. Okay, can I ask? That's his symbol for thousands of years before Islam. In all of that area, crescent moon, you can see the historical sites, crescent moon everywhere. The crescent moon is a symbol in Islam as well. You know the most holy month, Ramadan? And that is why I'm talking to you. That is why I'm trying to tell can you. Can I ask you one That moon symbol, and I said, can you kiss the cross? You said, no. But you are keeping the symbol. Symbols have meaning, right? Okay, right? If I put a swastika on you and go tell you to go, a swastika, you know the German Nazi sign, swastika? Can you put a swastika on your shirt? No. Why? This has meaning. That's why the crescent moon had very big meaning in Arabia before Islam. That's fine. Because it was the god of Arabia. Please, can I ask That's you one thing? Now you're taking that same symbol, meaning Muhammad's god before Islam was the crescent moon because it was the Quraysh god. The Quraysh was a moon worshipper, right? They were, their god was Hubal. I can show it to you from your source. Okay. 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 Okay.
معاهم بس يعني عندك احترام لا تتزق قمه لا تتزق قمه معنا بس معهم بس يتكلم محترم يعني لا تتزق على حق الجودي وايد اكيد يا اخي ما يغيرني انا بفسر له هو But okay, can I ask you? You're yeah. telling me he's kissing the stone. You're not. You're, you're not understanding why. My friend, I'm not talking about kissing the stone. Okay, no, please, please. I'm not talking about that. Did you see how many things I talk about? Yes, I, yes, I've heard. What about the moon? What about the present moon? For the stone in general, just to put the stone aside. When the Rasul broke all the statues, the figures, when he was a young kid, does this contrast with him kissing the stone? Yes, of course. He wasn't a young kid, by the way, when he destroyed the stone. How old? He was 40 years old when he became a prophet. So, this so he's shows, not a young kid. This shows contrast between him breaking... For 40 years he's worshipping those rocks. He never has. He never believed in himself to worship those. His parents did. Him, no. That's why that one day he went and broke them. Okay, if I show you a Quranic verse where Allah is saying to the Prophet, you did not know me, you did not know the faith before I made you a Prophet. If I show you from the real Quran, Allah is saying that to the Prophet. I can show you the words. It won't change anything in my belief. You, you can. I know you know, but uh, my friend, I, if I make up something, if I'm lying, then you, know, you should not. Hear. But if I'm telling the truth and you're saying that I'm not talking to you, you want to wait your turn. Let me finish. I'm talking to him. Okay, listen. If I, if I'm giving you something a lie, there's nothing to say. You know, at least you are using your brain. And in Islam, if you use your brain, you leave Islam. That's the thing. That's the problem with Islam. Please, my friend. That's the that's what it is because Quran says don't ask questions. If you ask questions, you will leave faith. That's the thing. So listen. I talk to you. I will. I'm not talking to you. Don't talk. I don't want to talk to you. Go away. 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 No, I don't want to. No, don't want. Then then go away. I coward. Coward. Liar. Only camera. Coward. If you're a coward, you don't want to be a. Come here. Come here, help, come here, help, come here, come here, come here, cover, go away, go away, cover, go away, go away, go away, listen, I'm talking to him, I'm talking to your friend, show some respect for your friend, no, no, you're not, you don't have any manners, I don't talk to people without manners, like your prophet, he didn't have any manners, no, 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 listen, okay, if you want to talk to me, be on camera, you just step away, I'm talking to him, yeah, <laughs> I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to your friend. I don't want to talk to you. Go the way, Khali Wali. Khali Wali, Khalas, Khalas. Where are you from? I'm from America. All right, listen. He's from America? Yeah. He's from California. All right, listen. You know that Crescent Moon, you're still carrying that symbol of the pagan god, the moon god Hubal. That's his symbol. You cannot take that symbol. It's not how. Okay, show me. Okay, if you can, let me show me in the Quran or the Hadith the where meaning, Allah is saying or the Prophet is saying, take this symbol as the symbol the of Islam. Was then not, I will. The accept meaning it. was not significant. Then why? Then why? Then who said? Then why? Please, please. Allah is not saying in the Quran or the Hadith, this is my symbol. But you are putting this on his on his the house. Meaning, the meaning. Can I go and put my cross on your house? Can I do that? No. Can I do that? But the meaning no, of this because symbol it's your house. significant so you put the symbol it. of yourself or your name outside your house. Because it's your house. I cannot go and put somebody else's name on your house, can I? We know so you cannot. how can you take the symbol of a uh, pagan god this and put it on Allah's house? This is talking and us listening. It's no okay. longer a conversation. Okay, all right, go ahead. I'm telling I'm you, listening. the meaning of this symbol was not significant to change what it means to us. It can have more than one. But that's an idiotic uh, statement. No, it's not though. Because we How have is different it not? meanings for the moon. I just gave you an example. A, if I take a, my symbol, let's say I put my name on your on your car. Let's say you have a car, I put my name on your car. Can I do that? No, you cannot. Because it's your car. Exactly. So why are you taking the symbol of Hubal and putting it on your the God's house? It's different. It's not significant it's meaning. It's a house of a Allah, right? Is house is broad. battle uh, Allah, please, right? Please. You do not claim a symbol like that. It's not like your name. Hello? Yes, the symbol. Ho ho hold on. It's the moon. like the. Listen, the moon is a symbol for thousands of years. It's not like they claimed it like yesterday. Yeah, or like it was there. No, it was their symbol of their god of Arabia for thousands of years before Islam. So it's not something they just claimed. This is what they believed that Hubal is the moon god and we worship Hubal. And that was what your. Prophet's uh, tribe, Quraysh was worshipping Hubal, the crescent moon. And now he takes that crescent moon and puts it on the God uh, Allah's house? 
and you're saying it's okay, it's just a symbol? It's, so just, it's, it's not like that. Islam why why does Ar Rasul not have respect? How can you talk about someone with such meaning? Because he, he used a lot of bad language about a lot of people. But I'm not going there right now. Why are you, why are you changing the subject? Uh, I'm not changing the subject. I'm just, so I'm just let me just you tell you, you something. Right if, you're, if you're Allah, who are you to say that? Because it's in your Quran. I'm just, I'm just referring to what your, your Hadith and Quran is saying. I'm not talking about myself. What I'm talking about to you is like I've told you very clearly. I cannot put my name on your card. You said no. Because it's my name, how can I put it on your what cross? You're if I take somebody else's symbol and put it on, the, if I take off the cross and I put the crescent moon on the on the church, you know, can I do that? I am a I am a 14 year old boy and I'm I'm managing to argue with you. It's argue with me? If I, no, if you're I not arguing you, with me. You what, what's your argument? A proper Muslim, I someone mean, who understands religion. Have you? Okay, let me. As someone who who has read and understood everything in the. Do you know Mansur? No. He's one of the biggest debaters here, is Mansoor. The first debate yeah, I had... first time here, by the way. I know. So you don't know. He defeated you. Okay. He defeated you. He, that's what he... He's a Muslim. So what is he going to say? So, I asked him this question. He did not have the answer either. He doesn't know why you have the crescent moon on there. I asked him. He's a Muslim. He's an adult. I don't know why Muslim either. adult, would you tell me why you have the crescent moon on your mosque? Look, I'm asking you. What, do you think I'm scared I'm not going to answer? Well, well, I cannot well, tell you that. that. Nobody can. Well, it's not you. Hey, it's hey, not hey, him. But it's Every Muslim I've asked the question to. Every Muslim. I know I don't. Then what is it doing there? Then what is it doing there? Then what is it doing there? It was not. Then what is it doing there? Listen, it's a symbol, right? If I have something to do with Islam, I would be worshipping. You would be worshipping. I don't worship. Do we worship it? When you bow down, if you have crescent moon on top and you bow down, you bow down to the crescent moon. No, we do not. Yes, you do. We bow down to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why you you put the crescent moon on top of your minaret? Ask him, why does he kiss the cross? Ask him that. Why do you kiss the cross? Because it's in the Bible. It says, pick up your cross and follow me. It's in the Bible. It says, pick up your cross. So you worship the cross. I'm being told to kiss the cross. One second. Do you kiss any moon symbol? No. Do you? Because we don't worship it. I don't. Do you have a moon symbol on the on the mosque? Do you have it on the mosque? So what? Okay, listen. If I take my name and put it on your car or your house, can I do that? Okay, it's a symbol, right? Symbols have meaning, right? No, no, no. Can you put that cross on the mosque? Can you put a cross on the mosque? See, it's not just you. Even the adults, they all have the same thing. It's not just because of your age. It's the same. It's the same. You will not change my belief because your argument. But I'm, I'm giving you. The cross has a meaning of worship. Yeah, I mean, come over here, it. come over here. Let's yeah, talk, no, no. let's talk. The cross sign meaning the cross sign the meaning of worship. Oh, oh, it came from it came from it came from a, a pagan tradition. All right. From Rome. That's it. So this, this is again the same question to the Muslims. The Muslims have no answer to their, cro uh, to their crescent moon. The crescent moon is Hubal symbol. They're carrying it on. Ancient Arabian Hubal is still worshipped by the Muslims. So they should stop worshipping Hubal. Come to Jesus. He's the way, truth, and the life. I'm out. Amen.